A Warren County officer killed in the line of duty was honored today. Megan Moore shows us how the support happened at today's Brian Dooley Memorial Ride. 159 bikes, more than 220 people. There may have been a threat of rain showers today, but that wasn't enough to keep the community from coming out for the eighth ride in a row to show support for the Dooley family. From a family of volunteers and first responders and public servants, of firefighters and police officers and military, so this one was very near and dear to our hearts. Sergeant Brian Dooley was killed in May of 2011 after he was hit by a suspect's car while deploying stop sticks in Lebanon during a pursuit. Oh, this is a great cause. The loss of Dooley within our family, our correctional family, was devastating. You know, so I'm so happy to see that there are people out here that remember him and, you know, his family and his friends and everybody's out here for the scholarship fund and that's awesome. Brian Dooley, a U.S. Army veteran who served with the Warren County Sheriff's Office for 12 years, left behind his wife and three kids along with his parents and two siblings. This annual ride not only keeps his memory alive, but it also makes a difference. Supporting Maddie's Hope, a nonprofit organization honoring Brian's daughter, Madeline, who fought childhood cancer. She'll be a senior this year and is cancer free. The money raised supports cancer research and also helps families who are impacted. This also benefits the Morning Stripe and the Brian Dooley Scholarship Fund. Morning Stripe, where the money goes to families of uh, fallen or injured uh, officers in the line of duty. And the last one is the Brian Dooley Scholarship Fund, which to date has given out about 25 scholarships. That helps the student going through the police academy at Butler Tech. It's good to see that the community still comes out and can support the officer, fallen officers. At Powder Keg, Harley Davidson in Mason, Megan Moore, Local 12 News. Sergeant Dooley was killed during National Police Memorial Week. He was a graduate of Edgewood High School and Miami University.